Hello everyone, and this is going to be a video tutorial on COLL recognition. Uh, first a bit of background. Um, I've been using COLL almost exclusively uh, for speed solves, so I think I can give a little bit of advice to all of you guys out there not sure exactly what's uh, going on with COLL. Um, uh, so, COLL, where does it come from? Well, uh, Dan Harris and Lars Vandenberg decided that ZBLL was too enormous to do in one jump, and they are absolutely right. It's basically impossible to learn it all uh, in one set. Um, so they created subsets of just the corner permutations. Uh, they also created a shortcut for ZBF2L, which is called VHF2L, but that's for another day. Uh, COLL basically takes uh, oriented edges on a no LL, recognizes the corner permutation, then orients and permutes the corners so that all that is left is edges that need to be permuted. Uh, why is this good? Well, for one thing, most OLLs are extremely fast, uh, rivaling even your OLL cases for that. Um, there's going to be a little bit of slowing in some cases, and uh, for others, you discover cases that you really like that no one ever showed you before. Um, so it's going to be a little bit slower to perform your OLL step. However, your PLL step is going to be, well, either MU and stuff like that H perm there. Uh, if you use RU, um, uh, U permutations, I just did the same one three, in a row, three times in a row there. Oops, sorry. There's the other one. Or I do MU. Uh, and then you have Z, which is probably the worst one, but uh, recognition is essentially zero on all of those cases. Uh, execution time, some of the fastest PLLs, uh, in many cases, the fastest three are H, UA, and UB. Um, so, you really cut down on your PLL time, and it looks really awesome because you finish your solve at lightning speed, and there's no recognition time, you just go right into it, and everyone just goes crazy, because even though your solve sucked, it looked awesome. Alright, on to COLL. So, COLL in a nutshell. What does it do? All you Friedrich solvers, these are H orientations. Um, each one of the edge-oriented uh, OLLs has a special name. This is H because, what is what do you know, it's got two headlights, it kind of looks like an H if you set up headlights, headlights. I don't set it up as H, I set it up as, what would that be? Parallel traffic lines, I don't know, something like that. So, Friedrich solvers. These two cases look the same, aren't they? This is double soon. Uh, COLL solvers, on the other hand, know that these two cases are very different. Why? Because we look at sticker pairs. Uh, for the H orientation, we're going to be looking at just the top stickers. And what we're going to be looking for is sticker pairs. Uh, sticker pairs are any two stickers that are the same color in our recognition scheme. So. For example, I'm not going to be looking at that red sticker compared to that red side. I mean, who cares about that? I'm looking at these four top stickers. Uh, what I see is a sticker pair in the back and a sticker pair in the front. I see horizontal sticker pairs. What do I see here? I see a sticker pair on the left and a sticker pair on the right. Vertical sticker pairs. So the two Frederick solvers, these are the same case. But, but if we perform a double soon on each of them, we notice that this one is solved, and this one is, oh no, Y permutation. Alright, not the worst. Could have been a, I don't know, a, uh, could have been an 
N, but the point of COLL is to fix up your PLLs, and the easy way to do that, recognize your sticker pairs. So H, again, we're looking for sticker pairs. These are the two basic cases. There's argumentation, or arguments on ZLL, how we should count these cases, but that's for another time. Uh, two stickers, a sticker pair in the back, sticker pair in the front, horizontal sticker pairs, horizontal bars. I mean, I, I tend to call sticker pairs bars if they're right next to each other. Um, horizontal bars is going to be double soon. So headlights off to the side, you have uh, vertical bar, I mean horizontal bars. You have R, U, R prime U, R, U prime, R prime U, R, U2, R prime. And here we have vertical st um, sticker bars, or vertical bars. Uh, this is going to be the other common OLL algorithm, which is U prime or U, and it actually doesn't matter. F sexy move times three F prime. And these are the other two. We have a sticker bar on the right. U2 symmetry H is awesome, and so we can just set a sticker bar to the right. This is a very fast one that most people don't know about. R U R prime U. R U L prime U R prime U prime L and the last H set is sticker bars on the front uh, F R U prime R prime U R U two R prime U prime sexy move F prime all right. Another easy case, and actually the one that I learned next, um, is pi, which is sort of looks like pi if you have the chameleon one here and the headlights, the, you know, whatever. Um, we call it pi. That's pi, not pie. Um, we're looking at the same four stickers because pi has four unoriented corners. Uh, difference is, there are six cases. Anyway, pi. We're looking for sticker pairs. Here, they're sticker pair to the right. On, I think of it as on top of the pie. Um, think of it how you will. Anyway, this is the base case. This is the one that everyone knows. It is R U two, R two U prime, R two U prime, R two U two, R. That's the one I think everyone knows. Opposite one of that is, of course, the sticker block to the left, or the ugliest case possibly out of all of the COLLs. Um, I do make this one work, though. Uh, I don't know how well you can tell. That's orange and that's red. So, we see the sticker block to the left. That's... These two are not the same. I don't know how well the camera picks that up. Anyway, sticker block to the left, or one of my least favorite cases, F. R2, U prime, R, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R prime, U, R2, F prime. And here are the other two non-confusing pi cases. Um, here is vertical blocks, so we see it's on top of the pi and off the pi. Uh, yeah, vertical blocks, this is an inverse of one of the H algs, actually. Uh, it's and a mirror, technically, but, you know, don't, don't get technical with me. Um, I used to hate this one because it uses L moves. Now I love it because it's short. Um, R prime U, L U prime, R U prime, L prime, U prime, L U prime, L prime. And the other one is the first X case that I learned. Uh, you see, it kind of looks like an X. We have two greens. We have crisscrossing sticker blocks. So here I call them crisscrossing sticker pairs because they're no longer blocks. Um, is R U Y R U prime R prime U R U two R prime U prime 
R U R prime F prime. For the case where the diagonal sticker pair is on the pi, I think of front as being on the pi if it's not there. So I call this on the pi. Flip flop the pi pieces. So U and then R U two R prime U prime R U prime R two U L U prime R U L prime. And this one's quite actually exactly the opposite. The block I consider to be off the pi. See sticker pair there. The other one was going across like that. This one's coming like that. So this one, I also do a flip flop of the pi. So put this one onto the pi, take this one away. Um, R prime, U2, R U, R prime U. R2, sorry, U prime, L prime U, R prime U prime, L. Next is my second favorite case, or third favorite. You know, I like them all, so forget that. Um, T. So it looks like a T because it's got these two off to the side. So no headlights, two oriented corners in the front, unoriented ones in the back. What this allows us to do is to recognize four corners from just the front and up faces. I want to be able to just look at this and say, aha, this is FFBB, or however you want to call it. Um, here I have block in the back, sticker block in the front. Anyway, easy. R U2, R prime U prime, R U prime, R2 U2, R U, R prime U, R. Vertical blocks is the one that my cube pops on most often, so I'll try not to here. Um, it's a pretty fun one, actually. R prime U, R2, D, small r prime, U2, small r, D prime, R2, U prime, R. Next we come to the two short cases. Uh, this is block on the left. Um, this is also a commutator, so knock yourself out. What is that? X, R prime U prime, R D prime, R prime U R D. Very fast case, very easy to recognize. We'll block on the left, block on the right, sorry, block on the right is going to be X D prime, R prime U R D. R prime U prime R. Uh, here we have a front block. Uh, this is also a non-edge permuter, so if you ever get that case, you know what to do. Um, R prime U R U2 L prime R prime U R U prime L. And the last T case, block in the back. These two are opposites, block in the back. F, U prime, L prime, U, R2, U prime, L, U, R prime, F prime. Next we get to the U orientation, which kind of looks like a U if you make it go like that. Yes, headlights to the back. So we're looking at actually the same stickers as we did for T. We just have to do a quick check here to check if it's yellow. If it's not yellow, it's a U. If it is yellow, it's a T. Uh, we're looking for sticker pairs. Here's and here's these four stickers. If I can get all four, yeah. Those four. Um, base case for U is the front block. These two are the same. It's going to be R prime, U prime. R U prime, R prime U two, R two U, R prime U, R U two, R prime. Front block. Now for the back block, um, this is actually one of my favorite cases. Uh, it's what I use when I'm doing pure Frederick now. Yeah. Things you learn. R prime U two, R F, U prime, R prime U prime. R U F prime. 